I'm Rachel White with the Horizon League here with Brian Campbell, the head softball coach at Youngstown State. He's also the chair of our Horizon League softball coaches. So first, Brian, what have you been up to lately? How have you been kind of spending your time? Well, we've been checking in with the players. Um, they just finished their semester uh, online. So YSU did a good job of switching everything on to online. So we've just been uh, in contact with them, making sure everything is, is going well with them in their classes and stuff like that. And how have you been staying in touch with them, just via phone? Or I don't know if you guys have done anything different, like video conferences or? Uh, just phone. Uh, just phone, just just touching base with them, um, just kind of seeing in that, in that direction. Uh, we divided our team up to my three coaches. So each of us had six or seven players that we were reporting to uh, throughout the, uh, the weeks. So. Gotcha. And is there a thing that you're sort of most looking forward to when things kind of return a little bit more to normal? Uh, just getting back with the players. Uh, you know, I know that we were down in Memphis when we got the phone call on March 12th. Uh, we headed out uh, on the 13th to come back. Uh, and I think the uncertainty, and I know I've done it for 24 years in college, and it was something that you felt for the kids for the uncertainty, uh, especially the seniors and stuff. But uh, when everything was said, said and done, it was nice for them to have an opportunity to come back uh, and redo their senior year uh, again. So, you know, I think once once we found that out, I think it was a little more settling uh, towards, the, towards the young ladies uh, because, it, again, it's um, – you know, the most important thing was is just to make sure that they were okay and, um, you know, working our way through it because it's, it's something, you know, I told them it's history. You know, you've lived history. Um, so it's something that, uh, you know, from there that hopefully they understand it. For sure. And obviously I mentioned it, you're the chair of our coaches, and I don't know if you've talked to any other coaches, but how has the focus really kind of shifted? Because obviously you guys have been – kind of wrapping up your season about now and instead you've been kind of doing completely different things so I think it's more shifted towards the academics with the kids um, you know there's during the spring semesters it, it's about structure um, they're at practice they have games uh, they're on the road you know everything should for them and then when all that comes to, to a complete halt um, you know now changing over to online it's it's that structure uh, getting getting on a routine uh, you know, what is a lot of coaches have said, you know, I've tried to follow the same routine, even though it's different. And I uh, try to get the players to kind of get in some sort of routine. Um, you know, even talking with the other coaches, uh, you know, that was their, their biggest things. The academic and a routine was the two important things. Yeah, that makes sense. And obviously, you've been doing this a while, but why did you get into coaching? What kind of um, enticed you about the profession? Well, I, I went in... Uh, when I first started as a football coach and a softball coach, assistant for both, uh, and then I changed over once the head coach uh, for softball stepped down, I was able to take over, and I enjoyed it. Um, it was it was fun. It was something, you know, playing baseball. It was kind of the same little bit concept, the excitement, um, you know, so I was able to make that transition, um, you know, as a head coach at my old school and then being able to work through uh, to move up, so. That's awesome. All right, now we're just going to do some sort of fun getting to know you question. So <laughs> just some of your favorite things. Um, first one, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Probably Rocky. Probably all of them. Um, Creed came out and I thought that was pretty nice too. So enjoyable. Awesome. Do you have a favorite superhero? Superhero? Um, I'm not really a superhero, but I like Elmer Fudd. Um, you know, I... I <laughs> It's one thing that I, I've always loved uh, for some reason. I don't know if it's a superhero, but a cartoon character. All right. I like it. Um, do you have a favorite TV show to binge watch? That's kind of what a lot of people are doing these days. Uh, you know, not really. Uh, to be honest, I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, you know, my daughter just talked me into going with Hulu. Um, I've had cable for a while, but I'm still trying to figure out how to work the Hulu. So, uh when it, whatever comes on the TV when I turn it on, actually, that's probably what I'm watching. Awesome. Do you have a favorite food? Favorite food? Um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, this was the first year the players actually let us stop by Kentucky Fried Chicken in all my years, and uh, I was just super excited. Uh, that's, that's one thing I've never uh, been able to do with the players is eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, and that was the first year this year, so it was, it was fun. 
Awesome. Um, do you have a favorite team tradition? Um, the tradition, a lot of it is, is right before the games when they circle around, you know, and they talk and then they get uh, their arms around each other and, and they kind of say YSU. Um, you know, I think that's something that was tradition uh, prior to me coming here and it's something that's been passed along. So I think that's kind of a cool tradition before they start the games. Awesome. Last one, favorite community service activity you've done with your team? We spent a lot of times in retirement homes, um, you know, playing bingo, parking, uh, pumpkin carving uh, to crafts, you know, those things there. And I think that's very enjoyable because it gives them an opportunity to talk, um, you know, to those individuals, uh, get to learn about history, um, get to learn about a lot of different things uh, throughout their lives. And uh, being that they're young, young ladies and even myself, uh, you know, it's a really, really awesome experience to listen to them talk about you know, some of the stuff that um, we have now that, you know, these, these young ladies um, don't know what a phone that you turn, uh, how to work that, um, you know, so that's just a difference. And, uh, but I think that's excited just to listen, just to sit there and have them young ladies listen to them. That's awesome. We'll really appreciate you taking a couple minutes to chat with us here and uh, look forward to uh, chatting with you again soon. Well, thank you for having me.